Welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I'm Danielle DeTeach, or Coach Danny D, and I help women to create luxury brands by creating processes and tightening their branding. This is where we talk about how to build your business in a way that allows you to work with ease and enjoy your life. My happy space is spending as much time as humanly possible in my pajamas, and I want to help others to find their happy space while still running profitable businesses. So get comfortable and let's dig in. Hello and welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I am your host, Coach Shani D, and I'm always here helping small businesses to play big. That's what I do as a coach. I am a luxury brand coach. I help creative professional women to create their luxury brand so that they can take their creative passion and turn it into a viable business that can um, be sustainable as well. But my point of view is work with ease. And so I am not only helping people build their businesses, but I'm helping them build businesses that can fit into their lives and their overall success stories so that they can have that full life that they're looking for and not just be a um, be a victim to their business, that their business is running them. I want them to be able to have a full and fulfilled life as well as run a business and be successful in both. So today I want to talk about a topic that um, actually came up twice. It was something I said a long time ago to a client and that client brought it up um, this past week. And then it came up again when I was um, with a group that I'm a part of. So I felt like it was important to bring it here and and flesh it out a little bit further. But um, a few years ago, I was talking to a client and they were um, looking to build a business in a particular industry. And it was an industry, I mean, like any industry, I think we all feel this way about our own industries. It was an industry that they felt was oversaturated. And the concern was, you know, especially since it was a product, I mean, it really is kind of a service, but neither here nor there. Um, Since there was a standard price that kind of was the going rate for this, they were trying to figure out how to make that work, how to make the math math, how to be um, profitable using those numbers. And what I said to them was, we as business owners need to stop competing towards the bottom. And let's be clear, everyone has a different audience. Everyone has a different price point that they are um, looking at as their ideal, right? You know, if you go to Yelp and you're looking for restaurants to go to, they're going to have the ones that have the $1 sign, the $2 sign, the three, the four. There's different price ranges for different things targeted towards different consumers. And we as business owners need to be aware of that and we need to be doing that. Um, That being said, there is a tendency to shoot towards the bottom. So whatever the cheapest thing is out there, we tend to use that as our um, comparison point when we're deciding what we're doing. And I'm talking, you know, I mentioned price, but I'm not, this is not about pricing. This is about um the standard of how we run our businesses. This is, you know, pricing included. 
but pricing is the way that I hear it the most. But I want you to think about this holistically. I want you to think about how you look at your business. So even customer service, um, offerings, you know, um, our, you know, standards, we tend to set them off of what the lowest thing is, because that seems to be the common thing. Everybody gravitates towards the bottom. And I don't understand why we are competing towards the bottom. I know that <clears throat> instinctively, especially when you think about um, price, we think, well, if if somebody is selling this, and this can be a product or a service, because sometimes I've heard people say, well, when you're talking about a, a product that's really different, it is, but it isn't. I mean, they're, they're, they're I guess, uh, slightly different boundaries, but it's not really um, that different because you can go right now and, you know, purchase a car for a wide variety of prices. Yes, you know, they're different. There might be different features and what have you, but ultimately at the end of the day, the thing that you're purchasing is a vehicle and vehicles can run from all the way, you know, if you're you looking at a used vehicle or if you're even if you're getting a brand new vehicle, they can run, you know, let's say from, you know, 20,000 all the way up to, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars, right? They're all vehicles. But they cost different things. Clothing, you can go buy a t-shirt from Walmart, Dollar General, wherever you may be able to get a t-shirt for $5 or less. Um, and there are some designers that are selling t-shirts for hundreds of dollars. There is a variety in what is offered. There is a variety in, um, what is available in the market and that that variety it again I don't want it to you know this to become a pricing thing because it's really not I want you to think about your business as a whole and who you serve there is a space for a value business where you are serving the you know budget client and there is a whole business model that goes along with that. There's a business model for the, the mid section segment, and there's a business model for the luxury. I, I, my particular, you know, I started this with, I am a luxury brand coach. So the luxury is the, the area that I am most interested, most, um, that's the area that I, I focus on with my clients, but regardless of where you are, you need to know what those parameters are because you should not be providing luxury at a value price. So if you think about it like um, different stores, so let's say you go into Walmart versus a Target versus, you know, a department store. So Walmart's going to give you what you need. You know, it's it's Walmart. It's It's got what is going on in there. Um, Target gives you a little bit more of an experience, you know. Um, and, you know, this is just my opinion. I feel like I got to go to Walmart. I like to go to Target. And then once you go into, um, I'm going to switch out of, um, department store and say like a boutique, then you go into a boutique and that's a whole different experience. The experience varies by the type of market. What I find is everyone is competing to go to this lower end. And what you're not realizing is there are people on this other end of the spectrum that are not being served. 
because everybody is afraid to step into that territory. But there are people over there that want to be served, that they don't want the experience over here. They're not intimidated by um, the price being high because they're willing to pay for convenience. They want an experience that is convenient though. So you can't service that market and not you know, create that convenience for them. So they want that experience. I would much rather have an experience that was tailored to me as opposed to going into an experience that's more general. But that's me personally. There's some people that say, you know what? I could care less about that experience as long as I have the cheapest price. But you have to know that. You have to know that, know what you're dealing with. And unless you are choosing to be the value business, the affordable option, the, you know, I want to serve the world option. If that's your choice, go with it, commit to it, but don't feel like that is the only space that you can be in because you are limiting your thought behind the fact that if somebody else is charging X, Y, and Z, then I can't possibly charge more. I I encourage you to go and I want you to research some of the things that you buy. I want you to research some of the services that you partake in. And I want you to look around and I want you to see that there are, I want you to see the varying feel, look, price, associated with the same product, the same service, based on it being in a different arena, based on it being um, targeted towards a different client. There is no need to race towards the bottom. And even in, even if you are that value business, you don't have to be you know, if somebody is selling something well below what it is worth, you don't have to match that because it doesn't make sense. You're not making money if you do that. You're not serving yourself if you do that. So I want you to make sure that you remove that mindset that says, I have to compete with X, Y, and Z. You are your own person, your own business, your own um, experience. And I want you to soar for excellence in whatever that is and not worry about who is doing what, where, when, why. Worry about what is in the best interest of you, your business, your clients. That's all. That is all. So we're not going to compete towards the bottom. We're not going to um, lower or reduce ourselves in a way that makes us not be the best version of ourselves, the best business that we can put out there, the best um, product or service that we can give to our clients. We are going to progress towards our best self. All right, guys, that's what I have for you this week. I will see you next week with more um, tips, thoughts, information about working with ease. Thank you for listening to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I hope you got some great tips to start working with ease. Want to stay connected? Follow me at Your Workflow on Instagram. For more information about building your luxury brand, register for my upcoming luxury brand workshop at coachdannyd.com.